Hello friends, uh, in this video I am going to discuss about uh, thermodynamic system, surroundings and boundary, control volume and uh, system approach. A region in space or matter upon which uh, our study is concentrated in the analysis of the problem is called as system. Everything external to the system is called as surroundings or environment. System and surroundings are separated by an imaginary line that is called as a boundary. Boundary may be either fixed or movable. Both system and surroundings together comprise uh, a universe. System and surroundings can be graphically represented in this way. If this is system, everything external to the system is surroundings or environment. Both this uh, system and surroundings uh, are separated by an imaginary line that is called as uh, boundary. Here uh, boundary may be either fixed or uh, movable. Both system and surroundings uh, together they are called as uh, universe. There are three classes of systems uh, which are closed system, open system, isolated system. In case of a closed system, there will not be movement of mass or matter across the system boundary, but there will be energy transfer across the system boundary. In case of open system, there will be both mass and energy crosses the boundary of the system. In case of isolated system, neither energy nor matter crosses the boundary of the system. The closure system can be graphically represented in this way. If this is the closure system boundary, there will be energy entering into the closure system across the system boundary and uh, energy going out of the system across the system boundary can be seen. But here uh, there will not be mass flow into or out of the system across the system boundary. Some of the examples for closure system are uh, thermal power plant, refrigeration, uh, the pressure cooker uh, which is used for cooking food uh, when heat is supplied. The example for closure system is uh, television and uh, iron box, uh, the electric bulb, uh, etc. Open system can be graphically represented in this way. If this is the boundary of the open system, there will be energy entering uh, into the system and uh, energy going out of the system across the system boundary there will be mass entering into and uh, mass going out of the system across the system boundary. Some of the examples of open systems are uh, boiler, turbine, compressor, evaporator, pumps and uh, so many other applications. Isolated system can be graphically represented uh, in this way. It has uh, a system boundary, neither uh, energy nor uh, mass uh, uh, flow takes place across the system boundary. And the example for isolated system is uh, universe. So if a system is defined as a region of space, within a prescribed boundary, then matter can cross the system boundary that is called as uh, control volume. If a system is defined by certain quantity of matter, then the system contains the same matter and there can be no transfer of mass across the system boundary, it is called as closure system. To analyze the control volume, certain region in space surrounding the turbine is uh, considered. Here uh, 
uh, control volume is bounded by control surface. In this case, uh, the mass uh, that is steam flowing uh, across the system boundary, there will be continuous flow of steam uh, across the system boundary. So, for that reason, uh, certain region in space that is surrounding the turbine is considered for the analysis of the problem. Uh, this is called as a control volume approach. But if we have a, a closed system uh, which has a certain quantity of fluid uh, which is bounded, which is placed in the uh, piston cylinder uh, arrangement, if heat is continuously supplied uh, uh, to the fluid, uh, the expansion of the fluid uh, takes place and uh, there will be only energy transfer but there is no transfer of mass across the system boundary. Uh, it is a system of uh, fixed mass or controlled mass and uh, the analysis of the closed system is called as uh, system approach.